28th of December 2005, Baikonur Cosmodrome, Kazakhstan. A Soyuz rocket launches Jove A, the first Galileo satellite. It's the start of the validation on orbit of the Galileo European Navigation System, joint initiative of the European Space Agency and the European Commission. Early January 2006, United Kingdom, Chill Bolton Observatory. This 25-meter antenna receives the signals transmitted by Jove A, that the satellite is working well and the first ever Galileo signals from space. This is one of the priorities for Jove, to demonstrate that Galileo signals are using the frequencies allocated and that they can be acquired correctly even by small receivers to provide positioning with great accuracy. The chill Bolton antenna is pointed towards Jove A for each of its flybys, tracking it to allow a fine analysis of the quality and the power of the Galileo signals. And the basic mission of a Jove is on one hand to demonstrate that we have the right payload technolo technologies developed in Europe. So we are, for example, carrying very accurate clocks, these rubidium clocks. But on the other hand, we have uh, uh, to observe and occupy our frequency bands we have applied for. We are transmitting very sophisticated signals in different bands. This uh, signal spectrum is quite crowded, already uh, occupied by others, and we have agreed uh, with them to use these bands. So we have an obligation to put, uh, put up our signal in these bands. And that is what we do with G over A. The results are good. The tests will continue to check the quality of the signals and occupation of the frequency bands, but also to check the performance of the satellite and the new technologies developed for Galileo including clocks accurate to the nanosecond. Time is at the very heart of this system. If I'm a nanosecond wrong with a time, I'm 30 centimeters off. If I'm a second wrong, I'm 300,000 kilometers off. So instead of measuring a position on ground, I would measure one maybe on, on the moon. So therefore, you know, we have to keep time very, very accurately. Time is the foundation of navigation. A second satellite, Jove B, will complete these checks later this year. It will carry the most accurate clock ever flown in a step-by-step -step approach to validate the concept of Galileo, a civilian system that will also be compatible and complementary with the existing navigation systems. The Galileo system is a system for civil use. While, as we know, the GPS system has been derived basically for military applications and today is also used for civil applications. The system, of course, is not competing with GPS, but is fully interoperable uh, with it. And we have demonstrated in these days, uh, through the operations conducted here in Chill Bolton, that the two systems could fully live together. And that means a user that acquires uh, and tracks GPS satellites can also track Galileo satellites. So no interference between systems. And DESA is now carefully preparing Galileo's overall offer, which means guaranteed integrity and continuity of services. Galileo will uh, offer a number of services. First of all, mass market services, so-called open services but will also provide a guarantee of service uh, that is uh, for uh, applications so as uh, international maritime applications, civil aviation that uh, require standards of safety and for which uh, a certain guarantee must be provided. By the end of 2008, a mini constellation of four satellites will complete the on-orbit validation of the Galileo system. Then, 26 satellites will complete the constellation for operational services by mid-2010. But for the time being, GOVA is broadcasting loud and clear. The Galileo project is a reality in space.